keeping up with our motto, let learning be a joy and teaching a pleasure. Here we are with the remote teaching and learning process to bridge the gap. A very warm welcome to all the students of Thakur Vidya Mandir High School and Junior College. Standard 5th Subject Mathematics Topic Parameters and Area Part 1 Students, let us understand what is perimeter means. Perimeter is the total distance of all the sides of a closed plane figure. That is, perimeter equals to sum of the lengths of all sides of a closed plane figure. In this chapter, we are going to understand the perimeter of triangle, rectangle and square. As we all know, we can find the perimeter of any of this figure by just adding the side of the given figure. Let us understand the perimeter of rectangle. Students, you can see the diagram on the left hand side that is AB is given as 4 cm and here the BC is given 5 cm. As the length of the adjacent sides of the rectangle ABCD are given, the perimeter of rectangle ABCD is 18 cm. Always remember students, the length of the opposite side of a rectangle are always equal. So your rectangle ABCD here AB and DC is 4 cm whereas AD and BC side is 5 cm. Let us go ahead and understand perimeter of square. Perimeter of square as you can see over here the length of a side of square PQRS is 5 cm. So all the sides of the square are equal. So the perimeter of square PQRS will be 20 cm as 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 makes 20. By adding all the sides we get the perimeter of square as 20 cm. Let us go ahead and understand the perimeter of triangle. In triangle ABC, the length of side AB is 4 cm, the length of BC is 8 cm and the length of CA is 6 cm. Therefore, the perimeter of triangle ABC will be 4 plus 6 plus 8 which will make as a total 18 cm. So, the perimeter of triangle is 18 cm. Students, let us understand the formula of perimeter of rectangle. As you can see in the picture, rectangle is given over here. Here, perimeter of a rectangle is equal to 2 into length plus 2 into breadth. As you can see, there is 2 times breadth and 2 times length. So, it makes a formula, perimeter of rectangle equals to 2 into length plus 2 into breadth. Let us understand with the help of example. Perimeter of rectangle PQRS is equals to 2 into length plus 2 into breadth. Here you can see the length is given as 7 and breadth as 3. So 2 into 7 plus 2 into 3 which makes 14 plus 6 which is equals to 20. Therefore the perimeter of rectangle PQRS is 20 cm. Let us go ahead and understand the formula for the perimeter of square. Students, as you can see, the length of all the sides of a square are equal. Therefore, the perimeter of a square is equals to 4 times the length of one of its sides. So, the perimeter of a square equals to 4 into length of a one side. Let us understand with the help of an example. Students, let us understand this example. The length of one side of a square is 6 cm. Find its perimeter. Therefore, students, 
the perimeter of a square is 4 times the length of one side. Therefore, a perimeter of a square equals to 4 into length of one side, which is equals to 4 into 6. That makes 24. Therefore, the perimeter of a square is 24 centimeter. Let us go ahead and understand the word problems. The length of a rectangular park is 100 meter, while its width is 80 meter. What is its perimeter? Students, as we all know, the formula of perimeter of rectangle is equals to 2 into length plus 2 into breadth. That is 2 into 100 as length is 100 plus 2 into 80 as breadth over here is 80. Which makes 2 into 100 is 200 plus 2 into 80 is 160. Together makes 200 plus 160 is 360. Therefore, students, the perimeter of a rectangular park is 360 meters. That's all for the day, students. Keep learning new things every day.